シュブルーパーブルーブブルーブ Yeah. What up, everyone? It's Jeremy. This is Red Means Recording. This is another video where we make some stuff from scratch on a piece of hardware. Today, we're using the Electron Digitact and the uh, sample collection from the Electron Downloads pack things called the Calling. And uh, last one was really dark, and I want to try to make this one a little bit less dark. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to start over here on, on track eight and use like a sample that's sort of like the, the hook, but we'll see. We'll see. I had to change it up a lot last time. So let's go into our samples and go down to like, let's, what's this do? So let's go over to this one. And but we are gonna turn it down. So by holding down a step, you can lock all kinds of parameters to it. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm locking parameters to this particular step. Cool. I have a beat in my head. I just need to make it make it exist. So I need a bass drum, and that's gonna be in the kicks. That'll do, that'll do. All right, let's get a snare. We need a clap. So, kick snare, clap is done. Let's go over to our open hi or closed hi hat and uh, make sort of the rest of that cool s stuff. So, I know I want, let's see. Tss, tss. All right, let's get our bass hi hat. That's kind of cool. So let's lock in that open hi-hat. That's kind of cool. Yes. Now let's go over to our trig condition and set this to the same thing. Like it only every two, it's two out of two. So that means it'll play every time, it'll play once every time this repeats uh, twice. Same thing as that second uh, pad hit on eight. We have cowbell and tom open, so we're gonna put bass on tom, and we're gonna put vocals on cowbell. So let's uh, let's find a bass. All right, there's our bass. So let's go and let's go into chromatic mode. All right, so at this point, um, we need to go from one repeating bar, so four repeating bars. So we're gonna go into page and uh, change this to 64. So now we have all four bars. And unfortunately that's going to fuck with our conditional triggers that we made. So we may have to go back and fuck with those to make them work in the new scheme of how many bars we have. But for right now, we're gonna add that bass. these two. So let's fuck with this a bit. They're not terrible, but they're not my favorite anymore. So let's try tuning it up. That's all right. Let's kill that amplitude a bit. Not terrible, but we can do that more. Copy that trig, go over to two, paste, paste. All right, cool. So we have everything except for, um, what is it, cowbell? So let's go over to cowbell, and this is where we're gonna add sort of our top element, our melodic element. Free mind. All right, let's see if we can make that work. And 
see what else I can do with this to make it just like a little bit better. So that's one beat. Let's go make another one. I'll do two of these. We made two patterns. That's pretty good. I don't know what we're gonna do next, but it's gonna be fun. Let's figure it out. Hey, what up? It's your boy, Jeremy Blake, with part two of making beats from scratch with the Electron Digitone and... It's not the fucking Digitone. What are you thinking? It's the Electron Digitact and uh, the Calling, which is one of their sample packs that you can get on their, webs on their website. Go on down. Let's use one of these. I think I used one of these last time. Let's see. Can we make this into something interesting? I don't know. We'll find out. Um... So I'm just messing with these trigs and trying to like add interesting stuff. That's cool. Let's give this some condition. We'll play this every 202. I just changed the synth up because why the fuck not? We're going to use track one, which would normally just be just for kick for uh, most of our beat. Cool, we can work with that. So these four trigs we want to assign to a uh, snare. Here, copy, paste, 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 paste. Let's get a little variation going on this synth thing. Uh, it's not bad, but I feel like we could probably make it fancier. So let's try making it fancier. And the way we're gonna do that is by going into conditional trig mode and start adding some conditional trigs that will pop in here and there. Cool. 
Okay, I don't like that LFO on there, so let's go ahead and kill that. That's cool. All right, so uh, let's give these some um, chance. This one, shim chance. Uh, conditional triggers are really fun, um, but you can see they take a while to dial in. So uh, I'll probably cut that section up quite a bit. But basically, just going in and adding a bunch of trigs with like, or steps with different pitches and different permutations of the filter and stuff like that, start points. Um, and then going into your trig conditions and setting the uh, like chance to like a certain amount, a certain percentage and all that kind of stuff um, creates an ever evolving pattern. Um, and because this is monophotic, it will cut off the previous note. So you start getting an interesting interaction between uh, triggers that are possibly playing or possibly not playing. So now that we have um, a vocal, a synth and a kick snare, let's go ahead and add a bass. Yes. So now we got a compressor going, we got a surprising amount of variation here on just a few tracks. So let's go over to track closed hi hat and uh, add ourselves a little top rhythm to this. I want some changing on that. Oh, come on, come on. Amp, decay time. Cool, that sounds cool. We got some variation built into the hi-hat. So um, because we are, because we're working at 84 BPM, but I decided to make this a drum and bass track, our real tempo is double 84, and we don't have 30, we don't have 16th note uh, trigs anymore because um, we've, halved our tempo. I don't know if that makes any sense, but normally these would be 16th notes, but because we're working at double time, these are now eighth notes. So if I want 16th notes on these trigs, I got to ratchet them and, um, or re-trigger them as, as Electron calls it. So, so let's go over to our beginning pattern, like up, re-trig at 30 seconds. And we'll re-trigger this one at 16th. Put one in here at like 64. Cool. Go over to here and fuck with stuff. All right, let's go do something else. Let's see, what else could we do? Do we have a clap yet? No. Let's go ahead and put something melodic on clap. That's cool. Well, um, I think that's our last track, right? And what do we want on this? Uh, love to try to find loop point, real fun. All right, now it's time to play. We got a bunch of random shit. Let's go ahead and then, wait, is that what I want there? I'm not sure that's what I want there. We're gonna do more syncopation there. Is that cowbell that we were on? All right, let's go ahead and give ourselves all the trigs. And we're probably gonna do that trick again where we send the LFO to the uh, sample pool and have it just troggle, troggle through a bunch of different samples. Okay, let's see if that works in context. Was it clap that we had the melodic thing on? Yeah, that's good. Let's go ahead and sort of reset our brain and uh, start a jam real quick as our final out. Um, my name's Jeremy, this is Red Means Recording. I hope this was fun for you. I spent about an hour on these two. I'm looking at the timer, it's like an hour and five minutes. Um, and now we're gonna play with it. So I'm gonna save the pattern into a temp area. Actually, I'm just gonna save the whole project. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, great. And uh, I'm gonna go back to here, save the pattern, so now I can fuck with it and uh, not fuck it up. Have a wonderful day, it's been great hanging with you. Take care.